I would like to give you a brief demonstration of the capabilities of one aspect of the Tamber Codex C90 and C60. The C90 and C60 introduce a paradigm shift within the field of visual communication. Through extreme flexibility and power, they allow integrators to build a complete new set of applications that radically improve natural communication. A powerful and vital component in the ability to deliver tomorrow's visual communication and collaboration solutions is something called image compositing, or multi-window compositing. Compositing is the combining of visual elements from separate sources into single images. This means that the C90 and the C60 are capable of taking video images from a multitude of connected sources and combining them into one single high-definition video output. The best way to explain this is to show it. Let's take a look. Here's a simple demonstration of how you can manipulate multiple HD sources by combining them into one single video output. This layout may not be particularly useful, but what you can see is that we've taken one video input source, in this case from a camera, and we're showing it several times on your screen. Now, additionally, we can do similar things with multiple different HD inputs. Here we're showing another example of overlapping video sources. This time the arrangement is a bit different, and we have composited different live video sources together into one video stream. So this is all very well, but how about we take a look at some examples of how this can be used in real life. Let's say you are in a particularly wide room and one camera will not cover the whole room sufficiently. You could simply stitch together the image from two cameras forming one single wide image like this. If perhaps you would like to have some branding in a video stream, this is as simple as placing another source such as a PC image behind the two camera images, like this. This way we can fill the entire screen and avoid having large black bars. You could even add animated effects like logos along the bottom of the screen if you'd like to. Now what we'll do is we'll move on to a distance education example. Here's an example of how you may want to compose various different video sources for education. It's important to note that in this case, we are showing a presentation source on the right without even needing to use the dual video channel. All of these sources are composited into one single video stream, leaving the standard dual video option still available for even more. OK, let's change tab and take a look at a couple of more examples that may look a little bit more familiar to you. Here we see a layout that is more like a TV election coverage show. Below me are a number of different video sources that can be showing different live inputs. I could be using a layout like this to give a briefing of a breaking emergency while still showing everyone live feeds from the scene. Staying with the ideas from the TV world, here's a familiar looking example. Okay, so let's take a look at the weather forecast for Oslo. As you can see, current conditions, zero degrees Celsius. And if we look in, we can see that a high today will be zero degrees with sunny spells. Tomorrow, we'll have a high of 1 degree Celsius, again with sunny spells. Over the next five days, as you can see, we'll be hovering just above freezing as highs, which is great news for all of us who have snow blocking in our cars. OK, now let's leave the weather and take a look at some of the other things you can do with the C90 API and image compositing. And now we're looking at the range of examples of what you can do with the image compositing feature of the C60 and the C90 codecs. The most important thing is to know that you should not be limited by your understanding of how typical video conferencing has worked in the past. Let your imagination run wild and you will soon solve many problems you have been facing before. In this short introduction, you've seen several examples of image compositing from a C90 codec as it looks from the far end. In addition, you have full flexibility to alter the layouts both locally and remotely. That means the option to send different composed layouts to each of the local screens as well as to each of the remote participants in the call. And this recording was done from a single C90 codec without any external boxes manipulating the video image you see. We've only issued commands through the Codex API.
For more details on image compositing and ideas on how to deploy fully integrated solutions, please take time to explore the rich resources available at the developer.tambo.com website. Thank you for watching.